Hi everyone, my name is Dixon Jones and uh, the guys here at Majestic have asked me to quickly go through the live campaigns uh, which has just, just gone live uh, hopefully today for you, which allows you to compare lots of different websites against each other over time and really takes Majestic to a new level. Now, if you log in, you should find some information about campaigns immediately in your dashboard. It may be that you haven't set your homepage to be your dashboard, in which case if you go into my account and click on dashboard, uh, then you'll be able to get to it and you can also change your settings so that you default log into your dashboard. Make sure that your settings has homepage redirect on and that will mean that you automatically log into your dashboard whenever you log in. So uh, this is my dashboard right now and instead of uh, all the other fluff that you might have uh, that was uh, was down here, uh, you've now got a, a nice little uh, section for your campaigns and everybody has been given a demo campaign called Majestic in Space. That's 15 websites that are all about space. So if I click on this, all of you will have this information here and uh, it takes a little longer to load up on the, on the beta. Hopefully it'll get there for you guys a, a little quicker in this live site when, when you get a chance to see it. But we've uh, put 15 different websites uh, up against each other so you can quickly see and compare these different websites uh, against each other. So NASA, for example, Trust Lab 93 compared to Discovery Channel of 81. We think that NASA is more influential. But also you can just hover over here, of course, um, as per your, your homepage and see that this is mostly about science and technology, whereas the Discovery Channel is all about arts and television, and the Atlantic.com is more about news and magazines. Uh, you've also got information here about the Majestic Million, the number of backlinks to the websites, and the referring domains. But now you've got this information running over time. So you've got little, little charts here that allow you to compare these different websites over time uh, very, very quickly. And you can see the highs and the lows um, and, uh, and what's been happening. So, for example, uh, NASA has been getting um, better and better in the, uh, in the Majestic Million from a, a low point of 98 and is now up at 92 in our list of Majestic Million uh, websites. Um, and uh, so you've got a, a pretty good idea of what's happening to all of these websites and you can you can play around with this and we've also then got some uh, good charts at the top here which allows you to quickly analyze and compare so these are the 15 websites that we've got in this campaign um, and if we wanted to see what's happening with Stephen Hawkins website for example uh, we can see that he ranks um, I think they're 13 for trust flow 14 for uh, citation flow he's slightly higher in the rankings for the majestic million uh, and then uh, he's back in it goes down and his referring domains are up, for example. Whereas if we go to version uh, Galactic, uh, very uh, quite a lot of uh, trust flow, um, but uh, and also sort of higher up in the rankings generally. NASA right near the top there, higher on everything except for uh, except for uh, citation flow, which uh, appears to have uh, the Atlantic.com coming in at the highest. But then on this right hand side here, we've got two other charts which are quite interesting. The first one is plotting the number of referring domains and backlink counts um, uh, for each of the, the sites. And this little tail here shows um, shows what's, what the spread is over time. So uh, it's still representing time on this chart. So Atlantic over time uh, would appear to be um, having some uh, fluctuation in its number of backlinks, but it's pretty static on the number of referring domains. If we then go over to uh, this right-hand side, this, this uh, cross-references trust flow and citation flow, and again, the spread over time is shown here. So the Atlantic has um, had a spread of trust flow values from uh, slightly below where it is now to slightly above where it is now. Uh, and then, so then these kind of like create little comments, which uh, can be quite uh, can, can be quite interesting. As you hover over one, you get to see on the left hand side uh, what's happening to the uh, the other core statistics that we've got in there. Now, in this demo version right here uh, that everybody's got, if you click on one of these, it'll just go to uh, more information about what happens uh, when you set up a campaign because it's a it's a, almost a, a dummy campaign, although that that is real data on the on the first side there. Um, so uh, let me go and show you a real campaign that I've set up that will allow us to uh, to go and drill in further and show you how these campaigns are, are done and how you make a campaign. So if I go back to the campaigns dashboard, I've created another campaign with just two websites in it, and it's for the, uh, the US election. So uh, because there's only two websites, then we just compare these. These are rankings, one or two, um, and, uh, uh, and probably Donald Trump doesn't deserve to be down there on all of them, but maybe he does. I don't know. It depends on your point of view. Uh, but here we can compare the two, the two sites. And now if you start drilling down 
on any of these in a live campaign, uh, then that's fine. You can drill down and you start to see what's been happening over time for the different data and topics and their graphs over time. Uh, and, uh, and this is how the data has all been built up uh, based on tracking reports. That means that if you guys have already been using tracking reports, you can instantly get data uh, pre-populated right now by just creating campaigns out of these. And I'll show you how to do that in just a second. If you haven't, it's still really easy to, uh, to create, the camp create the campaigns. Uh, and also, uh, if you've been using uh, verified dom d domains, then that's uh, uh, going to be easy to build a campaign as well. Uh, so here we can, we can compare different campaigns. Let me go back to the, to the summary, though, and uh, create a campaign for you. So if I want to create a campaign on the right-hand side here, we've got a campaign name. I'm going to call this one NFU, and I'm going to make it uh, all the websites, um, that, all the variations of the letters NFU. Uh, so uh, there's a website for the National Farmers Union, National F Union Farmers Union. Uh, create it. And we'll uh, here it is. It's, we've got it on the left hand side here. Uh, and now you put some sites in there, nfu.org, nfu.com. UK. Okay, so there we go, and that'll create those sites, and it'll create the campaign for you on the on the fly. And now we've got five websites all sitting in here, and this is their instant data that you've got right now, and how they are showing right now. It'll bring this information in. It's bringing in um, thumbnails where it can. Um, and of course, the, the largest one here is uh, the National Farmers Union, which is a, a well-known British website um, that represents farmers in the UK. Now, what you don't have for these sites is the tracking data over time. But what you've automatically done in the background is created tracking reports for these websites. And these will start creating information over time. So as you go day by day, the tracking reports will start to show here. And you'll be able to see what's happening uh, over time for these uh, these websites. Uh, you'll also um, be able to add sites to them. Uh, you can export the sites uh, and you can set up alerts here, email alerts when things start changing as well. So if you want to add other websites, then you can. nfu.biz. Uh, uh, and then that will just uh, add another one of those. And then you've got this one, uh, the dot biz in there as well. So uh, you can then uh, pull information in very quickly and start comparing these sites against each other. What else can you do with this? Well, uh, firstly, if you're going to be uh, setting up a campaign, uh, then uh, one thing that you can easily do, let's come back to this one here, uh, when you're trying to add sites, one of the things that you can do is you can paste this information. And you can either get it from your existing tracking reports. So if you've got tracking reports, you can just pull them all in right now. If you've already verified some websites, including free users, then you can pull that verified information in as well. And if you've got things in your bucket, then you can do that. Bucket list is like a, is, is like a, a folder that you can use within the site, and you can put sites into your bucket from anywhere in the system. And also, you can do it from our, from our um, toolbar over here as well. So you can easily add sites into the system as well. Uh, okay. uh, and then if you just want to uh, edit or delete a campaign, that's not a problem. I'm just going to go and uh, click on this and... Uh, Delete the campaign, get rid of the National Farmers Union. Don't want them today. Okay. Uh, so let's see what happens if you with, with this. I've set up another list here for BuzzSumo, and this has got 16 websites in it. Uh, and so I can pull this information in, and this has been tracking some information over time. So again, we can have a look at websites that BuzzSumo uh, says are important for the phrase big data. These are not actually websites, these are done at the page level. So Top Brewery Road Trip uh, Algorithmically you from Flowing Data is an interesting page uh, that's come in. So you can do this at the page level, you can do this at the domain level, or you can do it at, uh, at the, uh, the subdomain level if you want to. So you could put in a whole load of Twitter profiles, for example, into, into these uh, uh, campaigns and compare people and see how they uh, change over time. Uh, that's quite a good way of doing things. What I would say is it's not a really good idea to compare 
URLs with subdomains uh, or with domains, you should try and use the same type of category. But again, we can. We, but here we can see uh, different websites and see what's been happening, or different web pages and what's been happening and what they're influential about. Um, and and you can start um, uh, using this to uh, to understand a market, to understand a genre, to understand a vertical, um, anything that you want really. Uh, one other thing that you can do uh, before I knock off here uh, and uh, let you play for yourselves is if you want to have um, this big data list to be your prime one, maybe this is your main customer and the one you want to check every day, this little pin here will put it to the top of your list. And then uh, when you uh, delete your, we've got, got some other ones, you can uh, delete and get rid of the Majestic in Space one, which is only there for a demo, uh, and then uh, you'll have the other ones. Uh, for you. So I hope you enjoy it. I hope you like the idea of campaigns. We want to uh, do more with this and uh, we'd love you guys to play with it, comment on it and uh, tell us what you think. Thanks guys.